Hello everyone. Welcome back to Bob Jones Realtor for another Win Air video. Today we've got the final construction update for the Gordie Howe International Bridge for 2024. It was a bit of a gloomy day on December 27th when I flew over the bridge project for this update, but it was surprisingly warm for this time of year. Essex County is known for its milder winters and humid summers, so not too surprising. It's been an eventful year, and there's lots to cover, so let's dive right in. 2024 has been a year of remarkable progress for the Gordie Howe International Bridge Project. The highlight was in June when the bridge deck was successfully connected over the Detroit River. This incredible engineering feat made the Gordie Howe Bridge the longest cable-stayed bridge in North America, with an impressive clear span of 853 meters. The connection of the bridge deck was an emotional moment for workers involved. It marked the accumulation of years of hard work and dedication. It was also an exciting time for our subscribers and enthusiasts waiting to see the two sides meet over the Detroit River. This accomplishment makes the Gordie Howe Bridge part of a select group of the longest stay cabled structures on the continent. We've got more to share. But first I'd like to ask for your subscription. These videos supported solely by your subscriptions. It's free and really helps. So if you like the content, please subscribe. I truly appreciate your support. Back to the bridge. Throughout 2024, construction advanced on multiple fronts. Following the deck connection, crews have been busy with various tasks on the bridge itself. This includes paving, stressing the stay cables, and installing essential systems like fire suppression, electrical, and lighting. A lot to finish, and will continue to follow as it progresses towards completion over the next 10 months. The Michigan Interchange has seen significant progress on the ramps connecting I-75 to the U.S. Port of Entry. We also saw the completion of five new pedestrian bridges part of the multi-use path for pedestrians and cyclists connecting the Great Lakes Waterfront Trail in Windsor, Ontario to the Iron Bell Trail and the Great Lakes Way in Detroit, Michigan. Both the Canadian and U.S. ports of entry have seen strong development in buildings and groundwork. It's a big project, and although much has been accomplished, there's still a lot to do. Despite the impressive progress, the project has faced some challenges. The Windsor-Detroit Bridge Authority, WDBA, received at least five complaints regarding French language rights. These complaints allege that digital media messaging the telephone communications and phone services were not of equal quality in both official languages. They are working to resolve these issues. The project has experienced some cost increases and delay in the opening date. The bridge opening has been pushed back by about 10 months, now slated for the fall of 2025. There's also historical context of opposition to the project. American billionaire Manuel Matty Maroon, who owned the nearby Ambassador Bridge, had previously sued to stop the construction, proposing to build a second span of his own bridge. He was successful in delaying the approval of the Gordie Howe Bridge for years. Of course, it finally gained acceptance, broke ground in 2018, and is now well underway to completion two kilometers downstream from the Ambassador.
The Gordie Howe International Bridge Project isn't just about infrastructure. It's also about community development. Nearly 3 million in new investments were announced for 26 initiatives as part of the Community Benefits Plan. These investments support various needs in the neighborhoods of Sandwich, West Windsor, Delray, and Southwest Detroit. Work on nearby Sandwich Street in Windsor is expected to conclude in the new year, including new street surfaces, sidewalks, stormwater sewers, and cycling infrastructure. The bridge is a blessing to truckers, travelers, residents, and businesses in Windsor and Detroit. The project has created significant employment opportunities, with over 13,500 people orientated to work on the bridge, logging more than 16 million hours. Once completed, the Bridge Authority will hire approximately 250 people on each side of the border to operate and maintain the structure and complex. As we move into 2025, there's work to be done. The expansion joints are currently being installed, connecting the bridge and road decks. Soon, the tower cranes will be taken down, signaling uninterrupted use of the bridge from plaza to plaza. The project team is focusing on finishing touches like restressing stay cables, post-tensioning the deck, and completing various system installations such as signage, painting, and lighting. The multi-use pedestrian and bicycle path, which will be part of the Trans-Canada Trail System, is still under construction and looking good. Work continues earnestly on both the Canadian and U.S. ports of entry, including the finishing of structures, interiors, and groundwork. The Gordie Howe International Bridge Project represents a significant leap forward in cross-border infrastructure. As we approach the anticipated September 2025 opening, the bridge stands as a testament to international cooperation, engineering powers, and community engagement. Thank you for tuning in to this final 2024 update on the Gordie Howe International Bridge. We'll continue to bring you the latest developments as this historic project nears completion. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on all Winair videos. This is Bob Jones, and I will see you in the next video.